Hey! Hi guys! Welcome to the ventures of Keisha and Gigi. I'm Gigi. And I'm Keisha. How you guys doing today? Hey, we're back again. We're um we're gonna do another one of our scratch off of um adventure adventure challenge. So um you guys um I hope you enjoyed the other videos. Don't forget to um double back and look at those and subscribe to um and like channel. our page and subscribe to yes. our page. So it is a beautiful Saturday here in Maryland, and um, what better way to start the day by doing an adventure challenge, right? So we're going to scratch off an adventure challenge, and again, here's the adventure challenge. We have the couples edition, and we decided that we're going to scratch off the adventure challenge that says dating roulette. So that sounds interesting. What yeah. do you think? I very much so. Um, what do you think it's going to be about? Like, I don't know. Do Hopefully, it's taking us to a casino. But you know, I love roulette. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys. So for, you guys don't know this, but Gigi loves like lottery stuff. Yeah. Like, um, Anything to do with gambling. I like yeah. um, the roulette. I like um, what's like, going on over there. Anything on okay. So you guys have seen some of our videos. You know that we have two fur babies, and um, one is an old one, one is a young one. <sighs> and sometimes they just their personality just don't mesh well. The age thing is just doesn't work out for them sometimes. But that was just them tussling around and uh, getting into it. So if you heard that, that's what it was. Hopefully they'll behave enough for us to get through this video. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Anyway, so so um yeah, so Gigi likes the you know likes the lottery, likes the casino. It's 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 not an issue, you know. It's just you know kind of her her go to pleasure. Yeah. So anyway, I guess you're right with that word roulette. It could possibly be yeah something like that. Hopefully. Yeah. But let's see. Let's scratch it off and see what it says. Are you guys excited about it? I am. What have you guys been up to? Hopefully the weather wherever you are is nice. Um, we've been getting some kind of funky weather here. Um, it was hot and then it got like super cold and it was breezy. I think we had a breezy storm yesterday. Yeah, windy. Like a breeze windstorm yesterday. But today is pretty nice. Yeah, so we definitely said we need to get out there and enjoy some of this nice sunshine. And so the best way to do is start with our ventures. All right, let's see. So this one is again dating roulette. It says make a list of restaurants you've never experienced. Choose one of them at random. And there's actually two things on here. Um, I'm sorry, um, several things on here. The second one is find out your service favorite two dishes and order them. And then go to a movie theater and watch the next scheduled movie showing no matter the movie. Wow. Oh. Mm. Okay, we can do that. Okay, yeah, but just kind of like going to a restaurant and picking out um, things for the server. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I think we should pick a different... Um, pick another one? Yeah, I think so. Because that's kind of what we did, you know, going to the restaurant and... The last uh, one that we did? Yeah. Yeah, what you think, guys? Should we go ahead and do this... Um, this venture or going to a restaurant and going to the movie? Should we... I really wanted us to be outside. Mm -hmm. really did so well um, the issue is we don't really know if we're going to be outside actually let's see i think there is an icon that tells us you know which challenges are outside yeah so you guys um, so. i think we're going to skip that one now you can do that if you have this book you know it's so many different um uh things to do um in here where you you decide you're not going to want to do the um one item that you scratch off, you know, you can do it later. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to do it. Just mean we might not do that today. We yeah. Just go on to um, a different one. That's what I like about this book. So. Well, the thing is, I mean, you do have to take into consideration. You're kind of limited with your arm. Yeah, I, I, know. I know. Yeah, so, I mean, that's why. Go to the one where it kinda... says an a outdoor uh, vendor thing. Okay, this one here that says chalk dirty to me. And it has an uh, icon for supplies and outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, and it needs to be daylight mm -hmm. in order to do that one. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, what do you, what do you want Where's to do? Where's the one that... There was one in here that said about the um, 
vendors about something about street outside. treats and vendors. Yeah, street street treats and vendors. Okay, that one does say outdoors. Yeah, you scratch that one. Okay, mm -hmm. well we'll we'll scratch another one and see, and then and then we'll you know, decide we'll you guys between the two. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, you pick one we're gonna really have to do something. So it's actually well, this one might be good. Okay. Okay. So we picked the next one that says Oh wow, this might be fine. I'm glad we decided to, to change it. This one might be fun. All right. Okay guys, here we go. So this one is called Street Treats and Wheels. Uh, okay, so this is what it says. It says your town is filled with hidden sweet gems. And you now have the opportunity to discover these places in style. Use bicycles, roller skates, or skateboards. Go to two different ice cream or froyo places and share. At each location, ask one of these questions. Who was your childhood best friend? And what do you remember most about them? And what teacher in school impacted your life the most? Okay, who are we asking? The people who work there or are we asking each other that? Why are we no, there? so we have to, first of all, this you might have to sit this one out. Why? Because it says use roller skates, bicycles, or skateboards. Okay, why can't I get on the back of the bike um, that you are um, driving? Or the back of the school that you, you'll be driving? I don't know how that works. I don't know if those things have like weight requirements and stuff. Okay, you guys. All right. No, we're doing that one because okay. I have roller skates in my trunk. Okay, well, I'll film you. Hey, you know yeah, what? But yeah, I think we can we can make an accommodation since you're injured. Yes. And you just, you know, kind of get me on the roller skates. Okay. I do have some roller skates in my trunk. Um, I used to roller skate back when I was young at this place that was the Bomb Crystals Skate Palace. No, it was just called Crystals back then, but I think it's, what is it called now? It's called Skate Palace now. No, it's called Clothes. Remember, it closed down. They haven't closed yet. They're in the process, I think, but then okay. it kind of got extended or something. Um, but anyway, it's 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 a, a, a legend of a skate place. Uh, it's been in the community for a very, very long time. And if you was cool, that's where you went one Friday and Saturday. Hated night. it. All right, so. <laughs> you didn't like it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't skate, so. Well, right, exactly. So All maybe right, that's so why. Hopefully, you don't fall. I'm not gonna fall. You're I'm not gonna skate with my left hand. Not gonna. Well, hopefully, you don't fall and bust your ass outside while we doing this job. Excuse me, I know how to skate. I need you. I've been to skating since take care of I've me been a while teenager. I'm out, while I'm injured. <laughs> Anywho, guys. So yeah, this sounds like a fun one. Um, definitely the most. Adventurous one that we've done so far. I guess not necessarily adventurous, but just you know the most physical um, one that we've done. So uh, we're ready to get started, y'all. This sounds like it's gonna be fun. I got to pull on my skates, and this outfit I got on. All yeah. right. Anyway, let's get started. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. So, um, so I guess we gotta go get something. We have to go to a, a, a place to get some sweet treats. Right. And college, I'm trying to think. And college. I mean, should we? Should we stay here in College Park or should we? We'll should figure we... it out and we'll see you guys there. All right, let's get started. Yep. All right, you guys. We are, we are at the start. Uh, start Out Challenge. So we uh, decided to come to Rita's, mm -hmm. which is in College Park where we currently live. Yeah, Rita's. And um, I must say, so get, get into these skates. Yeah, okay, so these uh, are definitely... These are definitely old school skates. I've yeah. had them, you can tell I've had them for a long time. Yeah, they since you in uh, what, dusty and high dirty. school, you had them? But, um, yeah, since I was a kid. Actually, these are newer ones. These are the exact same ones I had as a kid, but hey, look. I had to upgrade them because the old ones were so messed up. All right, look, please be careful. You're outside on the concrete. I yeah, mean... I know how to skate. But I will okay. say that, obviously... The ground is much more different environment mm -hmm. than the skating ring. So I don't know. Hopefully I don't fall. Okay, well time. you let me let me let me give you a reminder. You saying you know how to skate, right? But you remember you said you was a ten time uh swimming champion when we went to that uh um river tube. That river tubing, you took off your life jacket because you said it didn't match your outfit and you almost drowned. Okay, so just I'm that giving you a true. recap. And I did nearly kill myself. That was the first time I ever felt my life left my 
now people say that it's really true. It really does happen. Anyway, so we're getting ready to get our readers. You got the money? Where's oh, the money? huh? Where's oh. The money? Oh, where's the money? Okay. Let me, let me grab my purse. Let's, 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 put, let's put this in the tap before we actually get up here. All right, go ahead. Right, you see, you have to fall already. <clears throat> Can't get the readers to get ice cream without no cash. All right, let's see how this goes. Pray for me, y'all. <laughs> Good thing about this place. Oh, look, okay. Oh, How convenient with that? All right, you see me? You make it up this ramp. I'm gonna kind of follow you from the side. Oh. All right, you almost there's a little. Oh, hold on. There's a short little line. Thank goodness for ramp and 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 rail. Right. Uh, oh, remember, we have to share it, so kind of get something we both like, please. Oh, something yeah. small, because. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Like, they have so many good things at readers. Uh, you guys like readers? Yeah, most people like readers. Yeah. The thing I like about readers is that they have um, the frozen, like the icy. Right. Along with the, you know, the custard and stuff. And fruit and everything. So. Right, so get what you normally get. Yeah, I'm just going to get what I normally get, but it's for the smaller size. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I'm not in the right line. I'm not in the right line. You want to just stand up there? You don't have to yeah, just... just gonna skate and then get behind the lady. Yeah. Vanilla and um, the ice is going to be black cherry. I need the dinero. Okay, so I, I just wait for you. Okay. Yes. Alright, so we, um, bounce like we're going to talk to you. Hey, we on camera. Isn't it cake? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. My name's Juwan. Juwan. I'm Keisha. This is Gigi. And our YouTube hey. channel is Hey, that's my best friend name, Luan. Our YouTube channel is Kiki and Gigi. Keisha. Keisha and Gigi. K-I-R-A-J. Keisha and Gigi. And, um, so we have to ask the question, one or two questions. And you can decide on which question to ask. First question is, who was your childhood best friend and what do you remember most about them? Or, which teacher had the most impact on your life? And I used to be a teacher, so you, I might have to have you that answer that question. <laughs> but no, maybe we saw teacher. Oh, you got to answer both of these. Okay. Childhood friends, Reginald Beckham, you go by Reggie Beckham now. He's an artist out of LA, so you can look up his music. He's an artist? <laughs> See, look yeah. at this. Connections, connections, connections. Y'all moving. Yeah, he's a singer. A singer. A singer. Okay. okay. And the craziest thing he did, we had to catch, we had to catch caterpillars and, and watch him turn into a butterfly. 
he put mine in a salt shaker and my butterfly died. So I always just remember that. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, right, what, about you? what about you? Um, are you guys still friends? Yeah, I'm still friends. Yeah. Okay. You that was in like second grade. He lives in Cali now. He moved to Cali. So he with me. How long has he been here? Maybe about two years, three years. Okay, you have you been out there? No, I haven't been out there yet. No, I haven't been, never been to Cali yet. Oh, wow. And if not, I gotta go. I gotta go to this. Yeah, you will love it there. Yeah. Is Gigi's? Gigi's gone. Yeah, I've been, I've been twice. I went to LA and then Inglewood. Yeah, San Diego. So we've been three times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I agree with LA because when Juan took me around, yeah, I want to say that. Have fun. We've only been—I've only been to San Diego, so I haven't been to LA. It was pretty cold. We went. It was not too cold in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, what about the? Yes. Let's read. Who's your um, teacher? And I still talk to her to this day. Her name is Margo Savoy. They're ready for you. Oh, okay. This was at um, Isaac J. Woody in middle school. Yeah, shout out to the teachers because you guys been a full of education. I know how difficult that is. And you guys are locking it out of the park with you know, COVID and just trying to do um, virtual learning. And, you know, it's quite, it's been quite an adjustment for you guys, for sure. So, um, shout out to teachers. Shout out to people. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 That you felt made an impact in your life. Like, what was it about that? Maybe she kind of raised me, but I still talk to her to this day. So she was like a second mother. Yeah, anything I needed, she was there. College, if I needed to go to 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 college, if I Middle school is a pivotal point in a child's life. I mean, it's that age where they discover who they are, trying to figure that out, trying to figure out their life and, you know, what they want to do when they get older. And just kind of going through teenage stuff. So, teachers in middle school are highly valued. Parents' guidance and, yeah, all of that. All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah, so I'm glad all this happened. I'm glad that you were able to meet somebody who was able to help me navigate through all that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that was my favorite. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, keep going. Check us out. And I'll watch all y'all videos. Yeah, and, and when you go there, put your, the name of your friends. Um, Reggie Beck, the music. Yeah, 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 so, so um, the next year, this is what y'all do now, this is just what y'all do. No more teacher. Uh, well, no, so I used to be a teacher. I actually trained. I used to be a teacher. Yeah, I just wanted to do something different. Yeah, education is where my heart is. So, I explained it because I actually just did a virtual career. So, I'm always giving back. You know, I'm, I'm good as dear friend of mine is now a principal. We talked about it. We did it virtually, so that was new for me. Um, still learning. I had to learn how to do Zoom. That's how it goes, right? You can't stop it. It's just like in your blood. It's so true. It's so true. Okay. All right, guys, but we are going to eat our meal before it gets all nice and melted, and we'll see you guys later. Later.